Hey everybody, what's going on? How are you doing? High five, we made it through Tuesday. Now wait a minute, look at my fingers. They've got glue all over them. I tried to glue this nail back on. I made a mess. Uh, I'm here to talk about shoes. Wait, first of all, hello. I don't have the hello sign up with the alien yet. That's gonna require some measuring and some more hooks and some things like that. That's a big request that I get is to hang up the hello sign over the alien. And one of these days I'll figure it out, I promise. I'm gonna try to stop doing this with my eye, my eyelids, but I think it's a little too late. I wanna talk, okay, so here we go. This video is not sponsored and I did not get paid for this video. It's not sponsored by, but I was contacted by a company called Fitville and to ask if I would check out their shoes and if I felt so inclined to do a review on them. And I said, sure, why not? And then after we do this shoe review, I wanna go over some Timu shoe hits and misses, faves and fails. So let me talk about Fitville first. Okay, Fitville is, is a pretty interesting company, which is why I wanted to check it out there. And I took some notes so I could get this right. They're an ergonomic footwear company with a mission to enhance footwear experience. So they base their company on three core concepts, which is therapeutic, comfort, Wait a minute, no. Therapeutic, comfort, and support technology. That's number three. I was like, wait, support technology? That's four, but it's support technology. So they specialize in wide toe box shoes. And what I'll say is when I try, I got two pairs of shoes from them. And when I tried them, my feet felt so good in them. And I'm not just saying that because they sent me shoes. I didn't realize how smushed up my toes were getting in my normal shoes. My normal shoes just go in and smush my toes together. These shoes, Fitville shoes have a wide box so your toes can move around. It increases blood circulation. It helps with any kind of pain you're having in your feet. And let's get into what I got from them and then I'll get into a little bit of what they're made out of. The first thing that I got, well, what I wanna really talk about are these, the things in the box, which are, let me hold the box up for the thumbnail. Hey everybody, this is my thumbnail. Cheese. <laughs> okay, yay, yay shoes. I have to try it, try it over here, no. Hey everybody, people ask me a lot about this pillow, by the way, my friend made it for me, Emma B. Reborns. I'm engaged, leave me alone. She had it made for me, that was really nice of her. And I love that pillow so much. Okay, so in this box, and I put them on, walked around and then put them back in this box. I didn't walk around town though, I walked around my house. But these are gonna be my new dog walking shoes. I picked out the Brisk Walk Recovery Slip-On Shoes. They look like this. Now, let me tell you about the technology first because I know to look at them, you're kind of like, ah, oh, okay, they're shoes. But they're not just shoes. They've got a wide box toe, so toes have a lot of air. They've got a contoured cushion, footbed with arch support inside. They've got these platforms here to help and they've got, I like the bottoms. There's something important about the bottoms that I'm completely leaving out. Okay, let me see. The insole is ergonomic memory sponge with a foam insole. So it's got memory, memory foam inside. The midsole, which is in here, is a patented dual density EVA midsole. So it follows the contour of your foot while you're walking to enhance your movement. And then did I say anything about the actual sole itself? No, because I suck like that. The actual sole itself, I believe is called core performance. And it's got, if I'm not, I might be mistaken, but it's specifically designed in a way. So your weight 
is distributed where it needs to be and you're walking on your, I don't know, your heels and then your toes and you know the way you walk. Well, it helps you walk the way you're supposed to walk and not the way you're not supposed to walk. So these shoes are, right now they're 50% off on the website. They're usually $60 and I'm gonna put the website in my description. They're usually $59.98, but right now these shoes in many other styles, they have really great um, hiking boots, tennis shoes, like, uh, like performance tennis shoes, not just, I'm gonna show you some sneakers in a minute, but they've got more than just, They've got performance tennis shoes. They've got running shoes. They've got, I, I'm a serious walker shoes. Like for me, this is just like, I got to get out and walk my dog shoes. But they've got a bunch of other shoes that are on sale for 50% off now. And if you happen to miss that sale, and then on the back, on the, they say fit walk, brisk walk right here with the little company logo. They are designed in America and manufactured overseas. That's American technology with um, manufactured overseas, I believe was what the website said, but I'm gonna put the website in my description box. I don't have a special code for you, but there is a code where you get 20% off if you sign up for their newsletter, their email newsletter, you'll get a 20% off code that way, which is really easy to do. And then if it turns into spam, you can just unsubscribe. And then they're having that big 50% off sales, certain styles and they're good styles right now. But you'll notice that the, the platform, they're kind of like the soles, they look thick, but they're good. That's to protect your foot when you're walking and to help bring comfort. So I put these on and walked around the house today and I didn't take the tag off because I want to show them to you fresh out of the box. But there's a shoe, you guys. And then the other pair of shoes that I picked out, which is nothing scientific at all, is, or, but I love them, are these cute pairs of distressed sneaks. And they are let me see what they're called. They're called Z the Zebras, I think. They're called the Zebra. They're platform sneaks too. So they're the classic Zebra shoes. They've got a platform sole also. They've got another wide toe box. And for so your toes can spread out. And then they've got this platform sole for cushioning when you walk. And these are $21.98. And I've been loving these, you guys. My feet feel so good in these shoes. And I'm not just saying that because I got them as a review copy. So, yippee. I really am impressed. When I first heard from Fit, like, I get a lot of requests to do reviews in my for business inquiries only email. And I, a lot of them are just not up to my channel standards. So I pass them by and so this, but this one, I looked at their website and I read, you can read our company's story. If you go on their website, it has our technology, our story. It's got a great menu where you can read about the company and how they make their shoes and why they make their shoes a certain way and what their shoes will do for your feet. And the more I read about them, the more impressed I was. And then I thought, okay, yeah, I do want to try these shoes. And sure, I'll make a video about it. So this video is eight minutes and about 55 seconds. And I highly recommend that you check out those shoes as well. Now, they're a little pricier than what we're used to talking about here on this channel. On team. <laughs> we're used to talking about Timu shoes. But if you think about it, I have paid about 20 bucks for a pair of Timu shoes and that's how much these cost. And that's also right now how much the slip-on ones that I just bought are on sale for about, what, $25? If it's what, well, if it's $60 for about $30. And they took about, I'm not sure how long it took to get here. I want to say about a 10 day, a week to 10 days for my shoes to get here. That was rude. I just picked up water and drank it without even warning you guys. So there's my Fitbill review. I give them two thumbs up. I think they are fantastic shoes. And what I really like is 
Speaking as someone who's got two completely black bruised toenails now from wearing shoes that are too tight in the toes, it feels so good for my toes to spread out. And they, they still fit fine, but my toes can spread out in the toe box. And I know now how bad it is for your feet to wear shoes that pinch your toes in like this. So I'm a big fan of the wide box toe. So there you go. Thank you, Fitville. I appreciate it. It was fun. And now let's move on to, you guys, I want to talk about the hits and the misses of all the Timu shoes I bought. I've said to myself, no more Timu shoes because just most of them have been misses with a few hits. So I piled up right next to me all the shoes that I bought on Timu and I'm just going to grab them and tell you whether or not they were a hit or a miss. Okay, the first one, my all-time favorite, but where's the other one so I can keep them together? Don't fall down. The first one, I love these bubble, you can tell by how dirty the bottoms are that I wear them everywhere. I love these bu bubble flip-flops. It feels like a massage in your feet when you're walking in them. So these are fantastic. I don't know what I paid for these. I think I paid about seven bucks for these. And links to them, oh Lord, I don't know. These came from all different orders from even way, way back in the day. But these are a definite heck yes. And I have even thought of buying another pair of these because I always like to have like, if I like something, I like to get two of them, which is just the hoarder in me, I think, or something. But these shoes right here were part of my very first, I think my I showed them in my very first video on this channel. These little, um, they're embellished, embroidered. They look, they got a cowboy boot look, but they got, these are still on sale. I just saw them on the app the other day and they got a platform, a stacked wooden heel and then they buckle in the back around your heel. And I like these. I'm just, I'm a little wobbly in them because the heels are, I don't know, have I gotten to that age where I can't wear high heels? Maybe, but I still think these are cute with if you wear these with jeans and kind of something plain, because you don't want your shoes to compete, like these are, these shoes are a lot, like they, they're a lot of shoe and you don't want them to compete with whatever you're wearing as a shirt. So if you wear like a plain, like a white shirt, like a white button down and jeans and then these shoes, they look really cute and you can go country line dancing after work or country bar or country music or something like that. I mean, they look, they look, like they would fit in, even the buckle has got little, um, the buckle's detailed, it's cute. The, my regret is I I cut accidentally cut the little keeper strap that keeps this flat down when you buckle it because I was so enthusiastic with my big scary scissors that I accidentally cut the shoe. But otherwise, these are awesome. And I don't wear them very often, but I don't regret buying them. Like, I regret buying these. Now, I don't know. These are like Nurse Ratchet shoes from One Flew Over. They look like, no, look, nurses are some of the most important people in our lives. I love my nurse more than I love my doctor. And my nurse is smarter than my doctor. So, but this, um... These shoes just look a little too, I don't, I don't know. You know, if you had a job that required shoes like this, they do have a wedge heel. And I did wear them once with black uh, pants and a white blouse. And I did, I did a black and white thing and a black and white purse. And I saw, so I looked, I looked a little... Uh, color blocked I guess and they were all right but they got scuffed really I've only worn them once and they've already gotten all chewed up on the back I don't know why and I had to oh I remember I had to scoot along the sidewalk in them to scuff up the bottoms because they were slippery but they're also just not they're white with black piping and I don't know in their slingback buckles I don't know, you guys. 
these are just, uh, these are going in the Salvation Army bag, which I did work on today, by the way. I put a bunch of, I've got this big plastic yard bag full of clothes and shoes and items for the Salvation Army. Or we give to the veterans, come around with a truck and pick up that stuff. And then I think they sell it to thrift shops and then they give the money to veterans. So we prefer to give it to the veterans is it Veterans of America? I'm not sure who we give our um, donated items to, but I've got a bag going for them. Now, these look... Now, before you laugh at these and call them ugly, they look a little bit like a lot, especially in this light. But I wear... And they have barely any sole at all. The bottom is very textured, but I really like these shoes and I know you're gonna be like what but I really like these I wear these a lot with khaki pants not dress slacks but I wear them with khaki I've got these denim khaki pants that I can kind of pass off as work pants in the office and I wear these with those or if I have like I think I wore these with like a boho dress the other day that had these colors in it but they're kind of embroidered with these little Asian type um, embellishments. This is supposed to look like it buttons here, but it does nothing. And then the toes are painted, but I, I wear these shoes out, you guys. I, I just wear them everywhere. So I don't regret buying these. They, I do, I can understand why somebody can be like, oh my God, those are ugly. Um, they're a little interesting. We'll just describe them that way. Kind of a regret are these funky suede elf shoes. They don't have anything to them. <laughs> they just look like elf feet, you guys. They're just, look how flat they are. Look how hard that is. Speaking of shoes that are hard on your feet, there are barely any soles on these shoes. And the buckles, they buckle in the back. And I don't know, you just slip them on and they show some toe cleavage, which I th I don't like. I think that's obscene. And I don't know. They're just a little ridiculous looking. I, I, and they feel really cheap. They feel like a project that you would make as they got buckles here on the side. They feel like a project you would make in like an art class in elementary school or something. So I don't know. They look better on the model, you guys. All right. I'm going to try to toss them over there. These shoes I have a mixed mixed relationship with. I love the concept of these shoes. I wish, I wish, I wish I would have gotten the white ones. They are platform sneaks with little flower details because they are so Barbie bubblegum pink. And in the picture, they looked like a muted kind of rose red. They did not look this pink in the picture. And one of the flowers has already fallen off this one. And I've had to pin it on like strategically. It took a lot of skill to pin that flower back on there. But I do still wear these with jeans and t-shirts on casual Fridays. I still run around in these. They're just really, really pink though. I don't regret them. I wear them a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, if you, if I were to go back and see these shoes and see that they were this pink, no, I wouldn't have bought them, but I do wear them a lot because might as well. Okay. The next shoes that I was like, why did I buy these Nike? Well, because they're for dudes and I didn't know. And I thought they were for everybody, but even if they were for women, because they said unisex, but then these turned out to be men's, but even if they were for women, why? Like, this was like a, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I drinking? What was I doing? What was I, what fantasy was going through my mind where I thought these would be a good idea? They are, what did I call them? Nike? I don't know. I think they're supposed to look like Nike, uh, Nike, sorry, slip-ons, or I don't, I don't know, you guys, but these are going in the Salvation Army or the Veterans um, 
bag because I'm not going to wear these things and they're just, I don't know why I bought those. Okay, and then another thing that I regret buying are these Yeezy dupes because look, I haven't even taken off. I bought these a long time ago and I haven't even taken off the thread that holds them together, but they look just like Yeezys and I just thought that was, that made me laugh. But then I saw these things and I just thought, no way. And they, they say unisex also on, did I say Wish again? Did I say Wish again on Timu? If I said Wish, I'm sorry. They, um, I think they said unisex on the Timu listing. But they, I think, are for guys. And I don't know. I was thinking about putting them in my 3,000 or 4,000 or whatever subscriber mega giveaway box. If anybody... Wait, what is that yellow stuff on there? No, except there's a yellow stain on them. So never mind. I would never do that to you. I wonder what that came from. How did they get dirty? Oh, well. Anyway, I don't know. The Yeezys are going to go to, um, I might wear them once just for kicks. I don't know. If I'm not going to give them away, I might see what they look like on. If we were standing and we had a full length mirror, I would put these shoes on. Wouldn't that make great sense to actually put the shoes on and show them to you on my feet? Like most normal people would do in a video. Well, that's just not how I operate. I like to sit here on this bed and hold things up and then throw them and try to, I'm trying to throw them in the shoe holder, but they're definitely not making it. And then last but not least, these are my most recent shoe purchases from Timu. Timu, not Wish. These, these cute flippy floppies with the bows. Awesome. I've been wearing these lately. Love them. Wish my toes were not completely black from wearing pinched shoes. And then I could enjoy them more and wear them out in public. But right now, and I'm too embarrassed to go, I'm too embarrassed to go to the salon to get a pedicure. Because if you picture some feet, picture the two big toenails completely black and blue. And picture that the, them, they have been that way now for months. And they will probably be that way for a year. My feet are probably ruined for I don't even know how long because of this one night when I wore these pointy toed shoes that really smashed my feet to the point where I was almost crying and hating my life for wearing them. And then the next morning I was horrified to see my black and blue toenails. And now I cannot wear open toed shoes like ever again, ever until they go away. All right, that was 23 minutes of just talking about shoes and showing shoes. Let me know. I'd be interested to see other people's videos on shoes they bought from Timu if they bought any. I'd like to see them all at once like that because that's kind of cool. But I, I, then I've decided I'm not really, unless they're like flip-flops or something, I don't think I'm going to buy any shoes at Timu because why when I can get some on Amazon or DSW Shoe Warehouse or something? Like some things you just kind of want to buy in a somewhere else <laughs> and you know hurt Timu's feelings by saying that oops anyway that's all I got you guys what I have left the videos that I have left to do I've got to do my my sponsored by Timu video video now but I got to read the instructions first I don't know if I'm supposed to submit it to Timu first before I upload it to to YouTube. I don't know. I got to look at the instructions. And then I got another Timu order today. So I got to open that and do that haul eventually. And I want to do, um, do I have something else? I think I'll have a purse to either review or review and give away. It depends on, I, I specifically picked some handbags, well, for me, and I specifically picked some to give away after I review them and I'm because I'm reviewing handbags from a bunch of different companies. I will never turn down a handbag review if I can, particularly if I can give it away on this channel. All right. Or if it's something I want to keep. Sorry to be selfish, but that's how it is. 
All right, you guys, thank you for watching. If you watched and if you gave this video a thumbs up, thank you very much. And thank you as always for your kind comments. I really appreciate and love you guys. I hope that you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is. And I will see you tomorrow probably with either... I don't think I want to do that sponsored haul yet. Look, I had to wait months to get those toys. So Timu can wait a little while for me to do that dang video. But anyway, so I want to open my real Timu order. Yeah, I have another one. Um, probably tomorrow. All right. I hope you guys are all doing good. <sighs> Ooh, I'm going to go try to get this glue off my hands and I will talk to you later. How do I stop?